Jacob August Rees was born May 3, 1849, in Reeb, Denmark. Rees immigrated to New York City in 1870, seeking work in his train profession as a carpenter. Rees is best known for his photographs depicting the slums, tenements, and back streets of New York City. Rees's journalism success arose from a new invention of the year 1887, flash photography. Flash photography allowed Rees to shed light on the dismal and dark living conditions of New York City for the first time. The photograph seen here is titled Bandit's Roost. Reese took the photograph in 1888 at 59 and a half Mulberry Street in New York City. This photograph is an ethically evaluative photograph as it documents the struggles of people living in 1880s New York. Bandit's Roost was one of the most notorious slums in New York City at the time. Reese was the first to expose how the other half live by using flash photography to take photos at night and in dark, secluded alleyways. Seen here in the bandit's roost, the men in the foreground seem to be guarding the roost, while those in the back look on with distant glares. The alleyway leads you further up into a large gathering of people. The bandit's roost, like many other well-known roost photographs, was first published in How the Other Half Lives. How the Other Half Lives is Reese's breakout into photography. This groundbreaking photo journal allowed for social reform all over the country. The photo seen here is titled Dens of Death. Reese took the photo in New York City in 1903 in Mulberry Street, the same location as Bandit's Roost. The photo is used to describe the wretched living conditions of New York City. The picture shows slanting roof lines, collapsing walls, and downright awful living conditions. In my opinion, no human should have to live here. Jacob Rees wanted to expose how awful the conditions were by taking photographs of the worst of the worst and publishing them and making them known to the public, Reese was able to help tenements change in New York City for the better. The photo seen here is titled Room of a Tenement. It was taken in 1910 in New York City. As one can clearly tell by the faces of those in the tenement, tenement living was not that great. Every single face in this photograph has a frown on it. There is not a single inkling of happiness or joy or excitement. The only emotions that run across these people's face is despair, misery, crime, poverty. These people are looking for a way out. It is Jacob Rees that offers them the opportunity to do such. Um, Jacob Rees is important to the field of photography as he introduced photojournalism to the field. Reese's approach is unique in that he photographed the dark, the dirty, the unwanted, the poor, and the filthy. His approach is unique because he got out to places that no other photographer wanted to be. Reese's work is significant as he caused social reform in New York City and led to better living conditions for those all around the country.